Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of vector algebra. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if the vectors, so three vectors are given to us, P, Q and R. So they have told us if the vectors P, Q, R, so P is given to us as A plus 1 I cap plus A J cap plus A K cap. For Q it is given to us as A I cap plus A plus 1 J cap and A K cap. The third one says A I cap plus A J cap plus A plus 1 K cap. So these are the three vectors P Q are given where it says A belongs to real numbers. R and they have told us these three vectors are also coplanar. So we know when the vectors are coplanar, the scalar triple product of that becomes equal to zero. And they have also given us one condition more that says three times dot product of P e and Q squared minus lambda mod of cross product of R and Q again squared is equal to zero. Then we have been asked to find the value of lambda in this question. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us, it is 0, 1, third option tells us 2 and the last option given to us is 3. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the value of lambda which is asked to us. Let's solve this question and let's figure out the answer for the question. So first of all, if I use the idea of the vectors being coplanar, we know scalar triple product is zero. So box product of P, Q, R it is equal to zero. So I know box product of that is nothing but determinant of the coefficients of i, j and k for all the three vectors. So yeah, you have a plus one, a, 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 a plus one, a, and a, a, and a plus one. So if I take the determinant of that and equate it with zero, I get a plus one, a plus one the whole square minus a square minus a. So if you take minus a, you have this and this multiplied. So that gives you a into a plus one minus a into a, which is a square plus a. You have again a squared minus a into a. This is equal to zero. So if I solve it further, I get a plus one. Here you get a square plus two a plus one minus a square. So a square a square gets cancelled. Now the next part, if I try to solve minus a, this becomes a square plus one minus a square plus a. This becomes a square minus a square minus a. Here also a square plus one, it's not there, it's a square plus a. And that is whole thing is equal to zero. So if I see a square and a square cancels, a square and a square cancels. Now what do you get? You get a plus one multiplied with two a plus one. And here you get minus a into a, which is minus a square plus a into minus a, which is again minus a square. So you get two a square plus a plus two a plus 1 minus 2a square equals 0. So 2a square and minus 2a square cancelled, you get 3a plus 1 equals 0. So you get 3a is minus 1, a is minus 1. So you get the value of a here from this question that it is minus 1 over 3. So if I put that a as minus 1 over 3 everywhere, I will get my three vectors p, q and r. So my P vector becomes minus 1 plus minus 1 over 3 plus 1. So 1 minus 1 over 3, which is 2 over 3i plus minus 1 over 3j minus 1 over 3k. So you get your vector P as 2 over 3i minus 1 over 3j minus 1 over 3k. So that makes it 2i minus j minus k over 3. So that's your P vector. Similarly, Q and R also, if I find out, I know in the vector Q, what is happening is A plus 1 is present with J. 
So you get a i plus a plus one j. So a i means minus i. Then you get plus two j and minus k over three. And similarly in R, a plus one is present with k, so it becomes plus two k. Both others are negative, so minus i minus j plus k, two k over three. So you have all the three vectors p, q, and r. Now the condition which is used, this condition. For that, first let's find dot product of p and q and cross product of r and q with the mod. So let's do that first. So if I find out dot product of p and q first, so dot product we know you multiply the coefficients of i, add it with the coefficients of j, and add it with the product of coefficients of k. So you get p, which is 2i minus j minus k over 3, multiplied with i plus 2j minus minus i plus 2j minus k over 3. So you have both of this multiplied. So you get 1 over 9 and 2 into minus 1 my plus minus 1 into 2 and plus minus 1 into minus 1. So you get minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 over 9. So minus 4 plus 1 which is minus 3 over 9 which is minus 1. So you have dot product of P and Q equal to minus 1 over 3. Now if I try to find cross product of R and Q. So cross product of R and Q. It is nothing but determinant of I, J, K. Cross product of R and q so r we know already it is minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 and for q it is minus 1 by 3 2 by 3 and minus 1 by 3. so you get i 1 over 9 minus 4 over 9 minus j this becomes 1 over 9 minus 2 over 9 plus k, this becomes minus 2 over 9 plus and minus, so minus 1. So you have this entire function now. Now once you have this entire thing with you, if I solve it further, i minus 3 over 9 which is minus 1 over 3 minus j. 1 minus 2, which is minus 1 over 9, right? Because if I see for j, you had 1 over 9, the product of this, minus, so yeah, minus and the product is also negative, so it becomes plus. So 1 plus 2, you get actually 3 over 9. So you get 3 over 9, which is again 1 over 3. And for k, you also have minus 2 minus 1, so minus 3 over 9, which is again minus 1. So if I see the cross product of R and Q, it is minus 1 over 3i, minus 1 over 3j, minus 1 over 3k. Now if I take the mod of them, so mod of this entire thing becomes root of minus 1 by 3 the whole square plus minus 1 by 3 the whole square plus minus 1 by 3. So you get this. Now what you need is in the mod, but you need the square of that as well. So if I square that entire idea also. So if I'm squaring this mod. I'm squaring this entire thing. So you get square root and square cancelled. You are left with 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9. Which is 3 by 9. And that turns out to become 1 over 3. So you get the answer for this entire expression as 1 over 3. Now let's also find the first expression. So 3 times dot product of P and Q whole square. So 3 times dot product of P and Q that is whole square. So 3 times minus 1 over 3 the whole square which is 1 over 9. That also makes it 1 over 3. So you get 1 over 3 here. Now if I put that in my entire expression. So your expression was this entire thing. So 3 times dot product of P and Q squared minus lambda mod of 
cross vector of r and q squared equals zero. So this entire thing was one over three minus lambda. Cross product of r and q squared, that basically gives us one over three again. So if I equate it with zero, I get one minus lambda over three equals zero. So one minus lambda is zero. If I solve it further, I get lambda as one. So you get the answer to the question that the value of lambda in this question turns out to become one. So if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11th, 12th, as well as JWE mates. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos and support the channel. Also, subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on a everyday basis. Thank you.